Watch this. Long into the night, Stephen King sat bent over, writing on a small wooden table and chair, with a table lamp just bright enough for him to see. Words poured on the paper from his heart through his fingers and the pen's ink was getting fainter by the minute. It was his fourth short. Stephen had high hopes that he would one day become a successful writer and make more than enough money to spend on his wife and children who had to manage the meager sum he made from selling short stories. He writes regularly for men's magazines and pumping gas at a filling station for $1.25 an hour. The snores of his wife, Tabita, mixed with the sounds of the crickets in the night distracted him now and then as he worked on his new short story about a teenage girl named Carrie White. But the hope that this might be the one story that gets to become a successful published work spurred him on. At dawn, when the cock began to crow, Stephen read a few lines from the pages of his short story and suddenly felt like other previous stories it wasn't good enough. Drained from the many long nights of writing, Stephen gave into feelings of despair and angrily tore his many-page work into two and dumped it in the bean basket. He took a shower, got dressed and was ready to go on to at least earn some money from his day job that paid him so little. Tabitha, while trying to take out the trash, found her husband's short story. She knew how hard he had worked on it. He was a beautiful storyteller and she had always believed in Stephen's creative ability. Tabitha took the Carrie short story and convinced her husband to finish the story. In January 1973, about a year after, Stephen submitted the finished story of Carrie to the Doubleday Publishing House, waiting in hope in spite of several rejections by other publishers. Two months later, Stephen received a telegram from Doubleday saying that the publishing house liked his story and was going to head to publish it. Doubleday paid $2,500 for Carrie with a contract that would pay royalties to Stephen. In May that same year, the New American Library bought the paperback rights of the short story Carrie for $400,000 and Stephen King split the money with Doubleday according to the provisions of his contract. Stephen King has since become one of the most famous writers in the world. He has sold over 300 million copies of his short stories and novels. Listen to this. Thomas Edison said, and I quote, Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Many of you watching this have tried so many times to achieve some dreams. Some of you have worked so hard and got no result. Some of you are already thinking of giving up. Don't do that. Instead, try one more time. And one more time again. And again, one more time. Till you achieve your dreams. Stephen King was lucky to have a wife who believed in him. But you may not be as lucky as that. And it means you have to pick up your broken story all by yourself. I get it. I've been there many times. You fail terribly and you start doubting your ability to succeed. If you find yourself in this shoe, go to bed, have the nightmare and cry for your failure. But when you wake up in the morning, stand up and fight again. This requires that you believe in yourself because if you don't, you won't pick the broken story every morning. Brad Henry said, believe in yourself and the rest will fall in place. Have faith in your abilities, work hard, and there is nothing you cannot accomplish. Another important decision for you to have is a clear vision of where you're driving your life to because without it, you'll only wander around the wilderness of life. Les Brown said, and I quote, If you have no vision of yourself in the future, then you have nothing to live for. Andrew Kennedy said, The world of great opportunities is available now, as it has always been only for those with great vision. Stephen King knew what he wanted out of life. He wanted to be a great writer, and he worked hard and believed in that dream. Today, he is a great writer. Believe in yourself and never give up trying. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we've handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.